Angers were yet to win a home match this season and had one of the worst home records in the Ligue 1 Conferama. It was therefore good news for them that they welcomed Dijon, who held one of the worst away records in the championship. After getting seven of his team's 19 goals this season, the goal-scoring duty fell heavily on Carl Toko Kambi's shoulders, the Cameroonian looking to give his team their first three points at the Stade Raymond Coppa. But it was the visitors who had an early chance, Wesley Said, forcing Alexandre Letelier into an excellent save. But the save would soon be undone as Letelier parried once again, but it was Naim Sleety who tucked in the rebound. His third goal of the season. Letelier may be making a little bit of a mess of the save, but it's a good follow up play by Sleety. Batis Reine was then immediately called into action in the other goal. Getting down well, but it's a save you would expect the goalkeeper to make. Johan Andreu then testing the Dijon goalkeeper with a curling effort, but once again straight at him. Carl Toko Kambi then hit the post. Desperately unlucky. Andreu with a good cross to the far post. It's a phenomenal save by Rainier, but Carl Toko Akambi is there. The Angers talismanic striker getting the equaliser right on the stroke of half time. Dijon 1, Angers 1. Angers really pushing for that equalising goal. They struggled until Dijon opened the score and then came into their own as the half continued. And it got even better for the home side in the 56th minute. Toko can be brought down, clear penalty, and upset the man and bang, his ninth goal of the season. Tate then had a chance to get one of his own, but Batis Gene with an excellent low save. Dijon had an opportunity late on to equalise Benjamin Janot, but his shot went off the crossbar, agonising for Dijon. And things got even worse when Adam Lang received a red card in the 91st minute. Two bookable offences throughout the match. It's a very poor challenge. Good decision by the referee. Angers win their first home match of the season thanks to Soko Ekambi and record an important three points in the race for survival. They remain in the bottom two, whereas Dijon slipped down to 10th.